today we will study tuning circuits tuning circuit is an ac circuit and it is a rlc series circuit resistance inductor and capacitor this circuit is known as or used as tuning circuit what is meant by tuning first we should understand that i have a device let us say a radio mobile in which i can listen now in that device the speaker will work when current pass through it okay we need current to pass and that current should carry signals signals to which uh, we want to listen okay these signals are there in the space these signals are there given to me by the cable by the cable or in the space by the wire system or by the wireless system the thing is that in the space there are millions of such signals signals which are meant for my mobile for your mobile for his mobile for his mobile and for everybody's mobile these signals are there again if a cable comes that cable in my television it carries 100 type of signals one signal for star tv one for z tv one for this one for that there are hundreds of signals are coming up i want to see only one so what i do i tune with that particular signal in the space there are so many emfs there are so many signals all around us there is one particular for which i want to tune and that is for my mobile number so that i can talk now this connecting the two is tuning connecting the two now i will get i can get current from all the signals but i will choose only one when i choose one then i will get current from that particular signal let us say i have chosen a program which is for star tv so the current from the star tv i will get in my television and that will show star tv i don't like it i want to change it to z tv so i simply press my remote i say i don't want tuning with star tv i want tuning with z tv then i tune with z tv i c tv so what is this tuning connecting the two what is this process this is what we are going to study today and it's really going to be very interesting now this is a lcr circuit when we say lcr circuit please remember it is everything you have is a lcr circuit your television is made of certain components what do they have they have resistance they have inductance they have capacitance your mobile has resistance inductance capacitance any machine in the world has resistance inductance capacitance that means every machine is a rlc circuit in terms of physics now this is the supply point from here we give it a supply what does it recognize from which it gets the power that is an emf which is a variable emf an oscillating emf and this emf is e not sin omega t there are so many variations in this omega may be different e not may be different like that mainly what we are concentrating is on frequency okay now what happens suppose this is the supply point at this supply point this is my television here i connect a cable which is coming from the cable supplier i connect it here 
Now these two are carrying a potential difference between them and that potential difference is varying. This potential difference which is varying, it carries signal from different sources, Star TV, Z TV, Doordarshan, etc. One is signal is with omega 1, other is with omega 2, third is with omega 3, fourth is with omega 4, this, 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 this. There are 100 type of signals or many more types of signals which are coming and what is the difference in them? Every signal has got a different frequency. This is what is supplied to us. Similarly, in the space, in the air, from the tower of mobile, a large number of electromagnetic waves are being radiated every time. And what is the difference between all of them? Every one of them has got a different frequency. So this is the difference, how we differentiate one signal to the other signal. Now, we come here. This is our uh, LCR circuit and this LCR circuit has got a particular uh, frequency which we call its uh, frequency with the minimum Z. Okay, Frequency with minimum Z when? the current will be maximum and we know that there will be a graph like this. Okay. This frequency we know it is called as natural frequency omega naught. This may have certain value. Now there are so many frequencies being supplied to us here and all the frequencies are having EMF. Therefore, all the frequencies, all the signals will flow a current. Yes, all will flow a current. Now, so many currents are flowing in this and every EMF is making a current. How much? Current is equal to E upon Z. Every EMF which is being supplied is making a current according to its Z value. Z value of the circuit. And we know Z value of the circuit keeps on changing and it depends upon frequency. That is what we did in the previous lecture. Now, for some frequencies, Z is very high, so current will be less. For some, Z is very low, current will be high. For which for which value? Z is minimum. Answer for natural value. So out of this omega 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, suppose for omega 6, omega 6 is such a value which is equal to omega naught, the natural frequency of this circuit. Then what will happen? For omega 6, like this. For omega 6, current will be maximum. Omega 5 is slightly less, so current will be only this much. For omega 7, it is higher, so current will be this much. In this way, omega 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yes, this way, 5, 4, 3. So, the signal which is having frequency omega 6, that is giving this much current. The signal which is having frequency omega 4, that is giving this much current. And with this current, powers are made as square of the current. So, which power is coming to my TV? The answer, the power which is in the signal omega 6. So, there are 100 equations that is E is equal to E naught sine omega 1 T 
e not sin omega 2t e not sin omega 3t 4t 5t so many emf are coming so many emf are struggling here to make their current all emf are making current who is making the maximum current the one which matches the natural frequency so the one which is matching the natural frequency makes the highest current gives the highest power and that is the picture i see in my tv that is the sound i listen through my mobile so that comes to me i do not listen to this the power is too small i do not listen to this the power is too small i listen to this the power is maximum i get it this is how we get the this process is tuning so in the tuning we set our natural frequency in this way you see now it is this way now i am seeing this for star tv i want to change to z tv z tv has got different frequency that is frequency number 9 okay frequency number 9 now what do i do i change the value of capacitor through what through my remote when i change the value of capacitance then what happens the natural frequency has a formula 1 upon root lc i have changed the value of c natural frequency of my set change now natural frequency of my set has changed now my set has got natural frequency here this is now natural frequency if this is natural frequency then which frequency will tune with it omega 9 this supply which has got e is equal to e not sin omega 9 t this omega 9 this is matching omega not so it will have the maximum current now it will have the maximum current and the next omega will be less next omega will be further less and i get a graph like this now this was star tv frequency now it is giving only this much current and this is z tv now this is giving maximum current so what do i see now z tv because what have i have done i have tuned with z tv frequency i don't want to see this i want to see doordarshan again i change c and through my remote i change its value so that this is equal to omega 2 how was omega 2 earlier when i was seeing this this was making only this much current oh this much current this is very low current so but when i set the natural frequency here natural frequency then my curve is like this and i get maximum current for this and for star tv for z tv for these frequencies the current is very small so this current is maximum this makes maximum power i see this this is the principle of tuning the same thing happens in our mobile when the signals are given by uh, electromagnetic waves through the towers from the towers so many electromagnetic waves are coming and all waves are having different frequencies omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 omega 4 all are there around here now my mobile has got this circuit in that there is a particular value of c and with that c that is fixed i can't change it where is that that is in the sim card i receive in that there is a particular value of c and for that the value of natural frequency of my mobile is fixed okay that frequency is suppose omega 112 now all signals are here if it is omega 112 how will be the graph of my mobile's response to different frequencies our answer is that this is current and this is omega 112 if i get a signal of this frequency the current will be maximum and for all other frequencies 
for all other frequencies see this 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 frequency this 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 for all these frequencies current will be only this much this much this much now in the space that thing is not there somebody called me somebody called my number that gave information to airtel that i want this number airtel knows what is that frequency then they beam out signals of that frequency and connect that telephone with this frequency that is frequency of my mobile and they do it all over india at a time then when they do it then my mobile has got an antenna when that electromagnetic wave of that particular frequency comes to that all the other frequencies are also coming all these frequencies are touching my mobile for every frequency it is making a current because all these are creating emf for every one it is making a current for someone this much current for someone this much current for some signal this much current but for this particular signal when this frequency comes z becomes minimum and i become maximum now this i and this power is so large that bell in my mobile rings up this is so much power that bell rings and i know when i put the on switch they will connect it to that uh, number and this is tuning so i have tuned with the tower the tower has tuned with that person who is calling me so we are connected to each other and what is the mean of this tuning there is a frequency which is sent by the tower and that frequency matches the natural frequency of my mobile and on the basis of this natural frequency of mobile i have been given a number what i call my cell number or my mobile number so <clears throat> this is how we tune up so whatever is my number whatever is my frequency it this frequency does not cut off other frequencies it is receiving all the frequencies there is no door closed the door is open for all but which current will be maximum answer whose frequency is equal to natural frequency of mobile that current will be maximum rest all the currents will be so small that they will not make any power and they will not give any voice so i don't listen any other voice i listen only up to this so this is tuning this is known as tuning and for this tuning which circuit we use we use our lc circuit now there were hundreds of frequencies i have selected one which is the natural frequency this circuit is used for selecting one frequency out of many frequencies so we also call it selector circuit selector circuit why selector circuit because it is selecting one frequency out of many frequencies selector circuit where do we fit it in my mobile there are two sections one for receiving the calls one sending my voice out what do you think in which part it is fitted answer it is for tuning the receiving one so it is on the receiver part so it is a selector circuit fitted in receiver part of device so please remember tuning circuit is a selector circuit it is fitted in the receiver part and on which principle it works it works on the principle of resonance resonance between what resonance between natural frequency of our device and the frequency which is supplied if these two are not equal then this high current will not get and i need this current only for ring i need this current only for picture this current only for sound if current is less than this there will be no sound there will be no picture 
So, this is known as tuning circuit. Now, in the next circuit, in the next lecture, we will see what is fineness of tuning, what is quality of tuning and we will study the quality factor of this tuning. Thank you.